<sighs> oh, I have to go to the region, don't I? Maybe we won't fight Diablos, maybe we'll fight Volcano. I'd rather fight Diablos, I think he's less annoying. I hate enemies who punish you for trying to attack them. It's like, yes, you literally do an attack, you miss, so I try and attack for you, just dodge back and poke me. It's like, that's not fun. You know? You know, I just say, no, give me food cooking. Well, I've got like 100 max potions anyway, so don't max that like a gallon of resources so I can just buy 100 of them. I wonder if Alcana literally fled away because it wanted to challenge us. Like, come fight me then. Or is it just because it got where it wanted and decided, eh, it's not worth it. I don't know that ball. Was that always there? Penguins and fur coat. Okay.
I tried to dodge that, apparently not. <laughs> it's already, it's literally just ice effect. Like why, is, why does every enemy have to give this that effect? I'm not even sure how to fix it. Uh-huh, that totally, totally didn't... Oh, one second. There we go. Wow, this does like no damage. Like the fire attack really does like... Ah, uh, yep, okay. So I've just set the, this game to decide to go full cheap mode. Aha, uh -huh, that totally hits me off your head. Uh, I love how every enemy now is just an enemy who's spam split. Like, since the late game, the main game, Every enemy is just an enemy now who just spams flips and they constantly attack. Oh, who? Oh, it's you again. Well, yeah, you two can fight. I honestly probably need to go crit gem hunting. Of course, it raw attacks to negate anything you do because creativity. Nah. Why not just make every enemy flip around a billion times and be very sporadic and hard to react to? Because we don't actually want to put effort into our enemy and make them somewhat interesting. It's literally it's just clone. Stop giving give me new enemies that aren't just pokey stick enemies. Actually, no, give me pokey stick. I'd rather fight Falcana now. 
Because I'm sick of the clone. I want unique enemy. Not just clone or enemy who feels exactly like another enemy. I'm sick of that. Who are them? The heaviest of size. Why not have Pilgrim and just be creatively bankrupt? I literally clicked the jump off the edge. I can't do anything. It's literally just boom. Stupid status effects are so obnoxious to deal with. It's like literally. I swear, I hate them. Oh yes, that's something that makes the stamina bar drain in like two seconds. I'd rather have the half stamina bar grab it. At least that's horrible. I need to get some time to think. Oh, yeah. You totally don't know exactly who I am. Yep, yeah, here we go. No. I'm just going to leave the area. I don't... I'm, I'm not fighting that. I refuse. And, of course, they're going to trap you outside the universe because balance? Who cares about balance? Who cares about enjoyable gameplay when we can just have this? The fact this doesn't kill a water effect is stupid. At least I've dragged him out of the cave. So now they're more horrible since there isn't two of them. Won't even hit me, I can't tell due to the flutter of camera. opening it's just attack attack dodge dodge attack attack dodge oh. I can't get close to it it just runs away so often it's actually the I run away and that's how I win in it because you can never get close enough to hit them I'm worried that leaves to be playable because Greatsword just sucks. I'm actually starting to think Greatsword might be the worst weapon in the game. Like, what even hit me there? Like, that wasn't even an attack. That wasn't even an attack. And you're saying I did damage game. Yeah, okay.
the fact you can't even SOS for this as well. It's literally forcing you to be single player. Like, this is actual bad game design. So literally, you make a mode purely based around multiplayer, and you can tell it's forced multiplayer. It didn't even do an attack. That wasn't even an attack. It literally just dropped to the floor, and that knocked me off and did damage. Oh, I got a hit. Oh, I got a singular hit. Isn't that cool? I'm just going to have to try and tippy tap it slowly as possible. It's going to be a long fight, unfortunately. It's going to be a long, obnoxious fight, but this is how it's going to have to be. Is it running back to its cave? No, it's not. Also, this sword sucks. I need to change back to like a poison one or something. Because this sword is actually bad. But like, it just doesn't cut the mustard. It gets weakened way too easy. I'm going to have to walk around looking for an opening. There's one. Didn't get full damage. Oh well. Oh uh, yes, flawless game design. Let's have two of them just attack you when clearly the mechanics of this game... Like, I should have wasted time upgrading armor at this point because it honestly feels like the game just punishes you for, you know, trying to actually play. Oh, it's going to run all the way down. Oh, you're going to get my little partner to carry me because I can't win without us. They're tough for him with someone. just designed to irritate me i swear like everything i despise about games is just activating spam the enemies left but every enemy just spam i can't move i can't move i literally can't do anything it's just spam 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 it's like that's not difficulty just a spam bad game design like i'm not joking my opinion the more i play it just I'm pretty sure currently the game's like at a 2. I literally rate it a 2. The Iceborne expansion. The main game's like a 7. Solid. This is like a 2. Every enemy is a cloak. Every enemy spams too much. Every enemy is boring a fight. There's nothing engaging or interesting about any of the enemy. That literally sums up the entire DLC. There's maybe one or two good enemies. Maybe three. And that's it. Everything else sucks. That is not a good DLC. And I don't care if that offends someone. Because someone takes that personally. Because I don't like the way this DLC is designed. It's just not good. Like the way it's designed is just not good. Like if there had been like some intermission period. Where you got armor that actually you know. Was more sensible quality. Between like. The elite ranks like. And master rank, oh, that wouldn't have been an issue, but there's not. You literally jump from 70 to 100. Which I'm pretty sure is the biggest armor jump in the game. <coughs> and even then, it feels like the armor you get is like super weak. I might slap on a full barrel set. That might have to be what we do. Might have to slap on like a full barrel set or something. 
I might have to give up on ever using great sword because it doesn't ever end well. Like great sword is slower than great hammer, seems to do less overall damage due to how slow it is, and it has a horrendous recovery time. And probably the worst hitboxes in the game. And Greyhound ain't the same as hitboxes, by the way. It doesn't have that good. Time to tell where it is half time because it's just wings in my face. Oh, yes, that's totally what I want to do. Not my overhead flash, you know? And yes, you ran your way on your ship to the other side of the universe because we're a boring enemy with no creative design. And we can't come up with an original concept, so we reuse the same enemies like 58 times. It's like, I'm not joking. I, I, I'm sick of clone enemies. I'm actually sick of them. I don't want to see clone enemies anymore. It's so boring. It's like you take an enemy that somewhat was fun in the base game. Kind of annoying until you got the equipment to beat it. But somewhat fun in the base game, yeah? And then you replace them with obnoxious ice fan version. Well, you can't get close because anytime you get close, it does a backdash into a sweep. Okay. That's the damage I more want to see. I'll take that trade. I still don't get why that does damage. Now it stops it flying around, it actually is possible to fight it. Then it starts flying around and it becomes too fast to hit without doing a trade. You're just forced to trade wings with it. <laughs> How did that not hit? Okay, I found one thing. Stop trying to do the first swing. It's one thing I need to learn. Let's do first swing, roll, turn, don't put away immediately. Don't try and attack it. Because very clearly I would have got punished if I tried after a roll. I swear, do they have like a special version and a regular version of the same map? That's even worse.
I'm doing like no damage for some reason. Of course it hits me and I can't hit it. I've given up even getting perfect damage, I'm just gonna flash attack it a bunch, you know. I think I figured out how to fight it. If when the game rolls the direction I wanna roll. But I think I figured out how to fight this enemy. You just have to take it very obnoxiously slow. The issue is, is obviously if there was a time limit on this, that wouldn't be very good. So I'm going to have to take some risks and start throwing in a second attack. Hoping it jumps into it. Of course it hits me. Makes no sense. Shouldn't hit me, but it does. Yeah, this sword sucks. I'm switching to a different sword after this, but this sword actually sucks. It, it just breaks too quickly. Maybe like a part breaker build? Wait, that didn't give me my heal. Or do I get damaged that much? not just be slow, you can't hit anything. It doesn't help when you're on any form of uneven platform as well. Oh, I didn't click that oh. My shoulder tackle works for one.
Oh, so that's how you fix it. Honestly, without your use. Still, that was hilariously tough and poison. That was actually shockingly perfect poison. It actually worked one time for me. I was actually kind of surprised. I couldn't even see where it was. Now I'm going to stock up on those. That's actually pretty useful. Sort of hitting kind of a challenge when the enemy just pops all over your screen every two seconds you can't even keep the camera on them. Play the too sporadic for the camera. So annoying. shoulder tap on it didn't do it it doesn't work half the time that's my issue when attacks just don't work i click circle 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 and it's like no it just doesn't want to do the attack Oh, okay, now it works when I didn't want it to work because I accidentally touched the button slight, didn't even fully press down, but it works that time, but not the time you don't want it. And it runs away again. Oh, yeah, I need a different sword. This sword sucks. I'm getting a new sword, I don't care. This sword's terrible. It just breaks too quickly, like, it just breaks in like four hits it feels like, and then you're not doing optimal damage. That was a lucky break. Bloody course. I should have done the regular old combo. I'm just sick of these bone enemies. They're so boring to fight a billion times. Like, I'd like the base game versions. Don't ruin my experiences with making trashy remakes. It's literally like the gaming industry where we just get remakes that suck, and the movie industry where we get remakes that suck. Like, no one wants these redo. 
except from like some crazy people who want to actually suffer through bad game design for some reason. I'm, I'm not sure why some people enjoy it, but they do, and I'm not going to knock them for wanting to play against it. Enjoy what you enjoy, but don't have it in the main story part. I put in like some optional side content. I don't have an issue with optional side content being annoying. It's just the main stuff I don't want. But, oh, we've got a strange... Like, how many times in the story have they gone, oh, we have a strange mutated breed of, like, XYZ. It's like, that's been said, like, 500 times. But I'm pretty sure that's literally every bit of the story. It's, oh, it's a strange mutated breed. Also, I love how Icebawn just makes every enemy like an ice or fire enemy. In the rare occasion, they'll have, like, something else on top of that. Like, they're all blue or red, pretty much. Oh, well, that's a nice combo right there. That's actually sh a shorter fight than a foil. I still don't like these reskins. Like, every reskin is suck. It's just a harder, more annoying version of an enemy I somewhat enjoy, you know? Like, that's my issue. Like, uh, it's, it's tiring. It's actually tiring when you get these reskin galores. Like, oh, you get a reskin, you get... It's like, it's so boring. Oh. ジャマダクルタラ。ベシラ、シミラクレスチロガ。リシミドトールシデムトルフ。トトクジュス。リキダール、ビームイクス。ラオ。ティロディラムット。リシ、トトクミア。ビームイクス。ラッ。
Eddie. Chukumoto Gureoto. Beranio Guska. So, Lucas. I take it back. It's like a four. The story, re it's like a four or five. The story really carries it. I might make fun of the story, yeah, but I actually have been enjoying the story of this game. I'm going to be honest, the story really carries very lackluster bosses. Like, some bosses are okay, they're annoying, but they're okay. Like, that boss there irritated me, sure, because it was another reskin, which was my actual irritation with it and why I didn't like it. I didn't like a reskin where it's just ice attacks added on, you know? I, I found it kind of lazy and boring. But I will say... It's still somewhat of an interesting enemy, and it's not as bad as, like, some of the other enemies, you know? I've already fought variant monsters because all these monsters have the same moveset. So every monster's a variant of each other. <laughs> の Oh, I saw that earlier, didn't I? I will say though, like, the DLC really is carried by um, the story of the game. Like, it's got a much more interesting story than the base game. The hand was obnoxious as ever, but still, it is... Uh, uh, it is... I... I, I I have to say I do somewhat like the story. It's not the greatest story ever, but it's not got a trash at all. I need like better equipment. So I spent time putting this together. I found a bill and I modified it slightly because I wanted to be a lance again. And let's just say we're kind of defensive. Like really defensive. And that fortify, I believe when we get that activated when you're like dead twice, like that is going to be some nigh invincible stuff. Unless you're facing like really high damage. I should probably change my charm, but I can't really right now, can I? Because I don't have the currency to do it. But after I, you know, get some currency back up, let's spend it all. Like a, like a fool. Once I've got enough currency, I'm going to probably get a different charm. Because I don't really need the charm anymore. I, I still... And the thing is, we can also get some heals from the item bot. Yes, I got like a, so many mega potions, I know. It's way, way, way too excessive. <laughs> And then we go... Where's the food? It's over here. Got some platter. Dents up. Perfect. 
And now we got a get out of it. Uh, I'm lost already. <laughs> The thing is, I've actually tested this build against um, an enemy which is apparently, last I checked, got like 17,000 HP, so, and that took me like around about 30 minutes, and that's mainly because I couldn't keep up when they ran away, which spent a lot of time, and also I had to spend time finding them and all that. Overall, I think I formed for around about 25 minutes, which for a lance, with no, no real attack boost, not optimized, optimized or oh oh I found you. I forgot where the weak zone. There we go. There's the weak zone. And the thing is, I didn't even have any heals in that fight, by the way. So that's why I had like no heal, nothing. And that was against like the big floaty boy. And I had no heals, no buff. It was purely to test how it works, really. Which it did. It turned out it does work. I believe this is a poison weapon as well. I picked it because it has better, like, silver than any of the other spears I currently have access to, and I don't want to waste... I can't waste resources, really. Getting new, another new spear at this point. I really keep poking him until he gets poisoned. But if, I could, if I could find a head piece that keeps my stats, that's better than this. And let's be like, I don't know, put some charge boost on this. Oh, that's a bit concerning damage. Still, not, it's not the worst amount of damage. But I've taken what, like, one, two, three, four, five, six direct hits? And I'm already getting killed, like, near back to full health. And I've been able to stay relatively aggressive. I'm not really seeking big numbers. I'm just seeking damage, you know? Like a billion and one hits it takes, like, if I have to click the button that many times. So be it. I don't even get why it gives me the option to pull out the flat floor. Like, it's not like it does anything. Leg. You actually saved me with that animation. Oh, that, that was a bad move. I should have jumped off. I'm in a bad position now. Well, good thing is, I can just. If I, if I can get up. I'm to the block. I'm dead because I couldn't, my will wasn't working, nothing was really working. So I can die, but still, that's actually shockingly good durability. Of course, it's really slow heal, which is kind of concerning. And it is an enemy who has like a really good elemental effect, but I imagine like I can probably improve this build. Now I can find other stuff with better defense, because if I could get like the top tier armor and just slap on the same defensive abilities, like, because that would actually like an extra like 30 defense on each. So that would be like 30 times 5. So that's like over 100 extra defense. And that's not counting the fortify thing, which hasn't even activated yet, mate, I know. Okay, I'm dead because the game won't let me move. It is what it is. But now I get slightly stronger, I believe, because I believe Fortify now activates, doesn't it? 
how does Fortify how does work again? I forget exactly. Uh, Fortify, I forget how Fortify works. Where's Fortify? Uh, I forget how Fortify works, but it don't matter too much. I'm not sure what I'm doing, I'm being an idiot. I believe after one or two deaths, I should get like an extra 10% defense and 10% attack, which is actually quite a bit, you know? Bad move on my part. Oh, I can't even grab them so I just need to get close. I'm gonna start poking. I wounded the leg. It's literally wounded. Why? Is... Oh, there we go. It's a really awkward hitbox. could be better. I feel like there's stuff to improve. Like, I don't feel like poison effect works. Which is what it is. I'm probably get like a poison boost element to help it build up. Element, amulet, charm to help it build up quicker. They also probably don't need instant start, you know, in all honesty. I don't really care too much about Sam all this.
You know what I really care about damage if I think about it. I just gotta keep hitting him. That's my one goal, just to keep hitting. I just gotta apply that poison, you know? I want to make a point. I'm still testing out this build. I've only this is the second time I'm using this build, and it's still pretty effective. It's not like uber bunga, instant mountains of damage, you know. But it is making the guy flinch quite a bit, actually. I just got to really get close enough to hit it. Let's delay my poke. So I can break through his attack. Oh, that's the cool thing, you can really delay that poke. Like 50... I'm going to have to do like thousands of hits, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to have to do like a lot of hits anyway. Only thing is, I can still be offensive when lunging in. Like that lunge is probably one of the best closers you can do in the game. Imagine if you had heartbreak with this. Oh, that was, that's what you gotta do. And the thing is, you have minimal downtime because the thing is, as soon as you get to a point where your weapon bounce, you can literally just step back for like a few seconds and then get right back into it. Like, a person with a practical accuracy would probably aim for the head with the blade. Because that's really the sweet spot. Oh, there's a bunch you could add to make this build even better. Like, this ain't even an optimized build, that's the thing. Like, it's just a baseline. Oh, that bad move on my part. There we go with a stagger. I feel like a knockdown's gonna come soon. Like, at least in a minute. If I can keep getting the critical spot on the head. Never mind, he's ran away. And that means I can heal back up with, like, two potions, really. Like, it is so insane just how durable this build is. Like, I only died once because I messed up. But imagine, like, if you had someone who was, like, really good at movement with this build. That would probably be ridiculously good. I didn't realise that crystal had a hitbox, that's kind of annoying. Okay, now I'm at when I need to sharpen. That's not too bad, I can just roll through, slide up here, and sharpen. Okay, so never mind, I think it might be necessary to have the 
in near in in Sharpen. Enough. I imagine any enemy with like a weak spot in the leg would find absolute horror in this build. There's no weak spot in the leg on this enemy. I think I survived that. Uh, oh, of course, that's an insta kill even though I'm on the ground. Like, there, there's still kinks in the build very clearly, but. Honestly, I actually think this is pretty good for what it is, you know? Oh, never mind. I didn't even have Fortify activate. Fortify just activated. That's insane. Fortify just activated, so I just got an extra 10% defense. Now we're in the true we're in the true boss state. Cause we got an extra ten percent damage. We got like an extra ten percent defense. And we, we do decent damage even when we're not hitting them, it's like Considering where it used to be where I would literally get like two. <laughs> oh, there is a hitbox in the first. Really tiny. I think we're probably like halfway through the health bar if I check. Or like in my head if I check it. I'm assuming we're like halfway, maybe a third way through. Maybe more. If we're lucky. I mean, I'm not the best player in the world, so. Definitely gonna be making mistakes. 
Oh, hey, there's a weak angle. No, I want those angles. Oh, yeah. Now I can stagger you so I know those angles are weak. And that makes you stagger you and hit the angles. You don't like the angles, though, do ya? Imagine if this had like healed strike. That would be insane, like if this was strike healing. Or I could pull weapon that I think it's gonna hit. Well it would be nice if I wouldn't crack constantly with my pet not doing anything to really help. and disappearing. This is one buggy enemy. It's stuff keeps appearing and disappearing. Filled with like a hammer or something. I felt like I dodged that, but apparently not. I can't move if you keep failing. Well, I definitely could improve this build. I feel like something like Paralysis or Sleep would be better with this weapon. Get like two sleep knockdowns, just poke them in the face a bit. Three damage. Maybe set up some Barrel Bomb. I imagine like a quick weapon like a sword would also be really good with this. Let's constantly apply a status effect. Due to like the speed. Oh, we got you now. See the post some damage. We got the tail off. We got this fine. Considering everything, if you're getting the tail off, you're doing damage. Need to be careful though, don't want to end up dead. I'm not joking, this would be perfect if we had like an ability to 
where the tail goes, I went here. Why'd I do that? I'm stupid. I need... I said myself I need to focus the damage. I think the tail area is going to be easy to damage now, isn't it? Oh, he's gonna be in trouble when he eventually leaves and raids. That's gonna be an unfortunate thing. Oh, he's limping. Oh, and we're not even reached the 30 mark. It's the same speed as previous. This is going exactly how it's meant to. This is literally the exact same speed the previous fight went. Like, only I died, I think, once in that fight, and that's because I messed up. But this is the thing, you see what I mean? Like, I'm not going for, like, perfect guaranteed runs yet. I'm going for, like, runs that, like, give me the win. I don't care if I get the maximum bonus, you know? I care about succeed. If I want the maximum bonus, I'd come in with some allies, you know? I'd be like a tank. I'd be, like, having a billion flash bombs and stuff on me. And, like... Trying to get the aggro of the enemy all the time. I can't imagine how exhausted you're eventually going to get. And there we go. The exhaustion has engaged. lucky. It not really matter too much. I can just run and heal, you know. And he retreats, giving me a time to get my health back up. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to sharpen my blade. And then I drink. Probably has like 2,000 health left or something. Maybe more. No money had left. But you see what I mean? This build ain't the strongest ever, but... It, it, with a better weapon, I could have gone in. I could have gone in with a better weapon, found it easier. I could have gone in with a weaker weapon, found it just as easy like this fight was so much better purely because i decided to go and spend time researching how other people build their stuff making my modifications and that resulted in this in all honesty i think this is probably the best decision i ever made like to actually really start researching how stuff works i never knew fortify literally gave you 10 percent extra defense like that's 
really major, may I point out, like 10%. Like, that might seem not like a lot, but remember, your t like if your defense is, I don't know, 500, that's 10% of 500. That's a lot of defense. Like, compared to, like, the usual defense would give you, like, 35, 40, 50, 10%. Like, that's, like, an extra bit of armor. And then you've got Fortify, that's, like, 10% of... I'm not sure if it's 10% of your armor. I'm not sure if it's 10% of, like, your overall defense. But either way, that's, like, a two extra sets of armor pieces. Or at least combined, it's an armor piece and a bit. Like, that's really good. That's a really good setup. That's fine. But first of all, I need to... Oh, that's the Gavron hub. What's steam work? I see. I don't really care for that. Let's go through my charm. I feel like weakness export. Divine blessing is good though, it saved me multiple times.
It's paralysis. Oh, I thought it was poison paralysis. That's even worse that it's not triggering. Am I upgraded? How high would that go? Oh, you can get this to level four. Really? Okay, I'm, if I can get that to level four, I might use that then because for my spear, that's actually really, really good. ドトゥルオムトスーデラ。トトークミヤホス、ミルキ。ローリー、リシミ、トトークミヤテラ、スキタトーラ。ロムトザファトテ、ネルガール、テホ。ドボ、イハオリンシ。ユキ、スン。セ
That's dragon energy, isn't it? Say that can't get close to this guy. Are we actually going to be wanting to use the triangle more often? I'm gonna question that hit bot. God counter probably would be a good thing, like get that. Coming in from more angles to make it like can't counter him. Oh geez, that does so much absurd damage. Oh thanks for stopping your heal with me. Race here in the new world, right there. That's what hit me. Man, flipped all the way out of the camera, but they can't see him. Might need to change the poison sphere to be dead on it.
Oh, that didn't go very well. That's unfortunate. Even hit him because he just jumps around. It's so obnoxious seeing all the enemies like this. Uh, also, another reskin enemy. What's new? So that's where the hell hitbox is.
Yeah, if I have part, I think if I wanted to get something, I'd probably want part breaker. Because if I break part, that's more weak spot to hit. And with tenderize, with a little bit of tenderizer in there, it's like, yeah, that would actually be really good. Oh no. I need to eat some jerky. Get that out of here. Now I just have a giant hitbox to hit. That was really low damage. Maybe like stamina drain would be something, but I'm honestly thinking part breaker like level three would be something I want. Because well, yeah, sure, you could argue. Also, it's got you notice this mission going at the same speed the previous one, so it seems half an hour sweet spot. So I'm imagining we get some more durable armor, um, maybe or like maybe find a way to be a bit more aggressive with the spear. I really just use the lunge attack to cover distance. If they're close enough. Because you, like this part of the lunge attack, like the first bit with a shield up, that's actually a block. So when you do this, you're blocking before you thrust your weapon out. So you can just hold that and block. And that's another tail. This is the tail breaker build apparently. Sure, it's not the quickest kill, but it's definitely one of the safer kills. But I'm imagining trading out the amulet because that's not even a guarantee but like you probably at this point not want to be relying on that ability too much anymore you want to rely on your shield more often I thought it was going to be hard, this is like easy. But this is like shockingly easy. I've not died once. I say that now I'm going to die. It honestly seems like the lizard type body is very good against the skill though, but their weakness is very hard to hit. Right now, it's like three that myself out. There we go, now I'm good. His entire rear area is pretty much compromised with attack. I feel thanks for getting close, that's actually what I needed. 
Never mind. Not close enough. And just gulp down another mega potion. Get my health. Like, this is a, probably the most durable build I've seen at this point. And this is mm, pretty much every, or, like most of the stuff you can get pretty much before you face any real challenges. Because by the time you're using this build, you'd probably use the previous build I'm using or was using. He's trying to territory still. Sliding between all the attacks. Oh, and he got exhausted, so I got three hits now. The thing is, they can't even really do damage to me. Too low level. Oh, they actually got electric staggers. Okay, we're just gonna block because he's being but Come on, get over, get over. I got room. You know what? Cookie. Cheese cookie. The most powerful thing in the game. <laughs> oh no. Get up, get up. I actually survived that, I can't believe it. Cookie. But I'm so close, I can taste it.
He's not down. Force him back. Heal with a random potion. Make sure my weapon's got another level sharpness. This is actually going really well. Like, it's literally going to the same point it was previously. And I haven't got, like, the max fortifier yet. Oh, that... that I need to get more of those up. They're so painful to deal with. Imagine this deal with Heartbreaker. Oh, they're limping. But really, the only enemy that would give this build it issue is probably the ice enemy, but with Heartbreaker, it wouldn't really matter. Or you could ice resist as a charm. And you could just carry a bunch of those nuts that you can eat. Or just carry a whole stack of them. <laughs> Jeez, that's such ridiculous time speed. This is the true way to play Lance in my eyes now. I can't imagine any other version of the Lance build. I'm just going to be dead honest. Like, I appreciate that's a 100% block as well. Or at least it's such high block that you can't notice the damage when you do block, unless it's like elemental chip damage, you know? Oh, he's getting real aggressive now. Even then, I carry on he <laughs> Even then, I carry on healing. Because sure, it's not like you can stop me, is it? I already know how... I feel like he's got a few minutes at best in him, like, he's not gonna last another five if I play well. If I die, that's another story. If I don't die, then I'd say less than five minutes. Oh, I'm gonna get cheese pulled by staggering eye. What are they doing? You gonna heal me? There we go. There we go. And it's done. That was zero deaths, by the way, and slightly faster than the other enemy we did. Faster than the dinosaur. I'm just, like, this build 
if you know the move set, if you know the movement, this build could actually be really good. You just need to make some modification. I feel like that's the thing. There's some modification. But yeah, it's actually shocking decent. Would would I be using this build if I could use any other without dying? Absolutely not. This build is slow. <laughs> like this build is slow. And it, you have to be aggressive while being very careful. It's like, it's not reaction time the build. It's more like awareness time the build. You need to be super aware. And it's like, that's like where I mess up when I'm not aware enough. And I get distracted by my own thoughts or something. And I get caught because of it. And the enemy does giant amount of damage. That's when it becomes like a real issue, you know? I am probably going to look between this to see if I can upgrade this build in terms of armor with keeping the same stats. But I'm not really sure how I would do that, to be honest. But that's the thing, I'd probably need a better spear, like something... Like an elemental, like three elemental spears, like a fire, a thunder, and a water, maybe. A switch between them when you're facing enemies. <laughs> I didn't realize where I was for a second. And also, I'll say resources are more important. Hmm. 